Hey guys, welcome back. So I passed my self live exam and I got 12 in listening, 10 in reading, 12 in writing and 11 in speaking which are pretty high scores. So I made this video last year and I talked about my experience. I shared my speaking and writing templates I used in my own exam and hopefully a lot of people found it useful and I got many thank you messages and comments which made me to come up with today's video to share with you my best tips and tricks you need to know to pass your self live exam with a CLB 9 or hopefully a higher score so let's get it started all right tip number one is to take the free selfie practice test you can google free selfie test and go to the first link which is paragontesting.ca and try two full practice tests as many times as you want personally I remember I took both of them at least five times before taking my exam tip number two is about the selfie exam format the first thing is that it's all on the computer so get used to typing instead of writing and also get used to speaking to a computer and recording your own voice instead of talking to a person the second thing about the exam is to don't get distracted because at the exam there are going to be 10 more people in the same room speaking at the same time so practice to stay focused and don't get distracted tip number three is to take notes it's almost impossible to remember everything in the listening section especially in the part four which is listening to the news part five which is listening to the discussion and part six which is listening to viewpoints make sure to write down the main points rather than the whole thing because you need to manage your limited time tip number four is a bonus tip and is to draw shapes instead of writing long words so next time instead of writing something like triangle or a square you can quickly draw a triangle or a square shape or instead of writing positive or negative you can simply draw a plus or minus shape so there are a lot of words that can be drawn make sure to practice them and take notes faster all right tip number five is to be fully present at the exam especially in the listening section one important thing that you should remember is that you won't get a second chance to listen to the recordings every audio is going to be played only once and if you miss out the chance to listen to audios properly you're gonna miss the right answer all right tip number six is about the cell peep listening task five so in task five most of the time it's going to be watching a discussion between three people and everyone says a few things so what I recommend here is to draw two vertical lines and one horizontal line so we have three comments and write the name of each person at the top of every column and write down things they say and how they look like under everyone's name this way you're gonna have a well organized note I mentioned writing down what each one looks like because a lot of times the questions in this task are gonna be like what the guy in the blue shirt says or what the woman in black dresses tip number seven is to manage your time don't spend too much time thinking about one question if you don't know the right answer then just guess the answer and continue time management is critical especially in the speaking because the test is automatically timed and it's your responsibility to be careful tip number eight is to proofread and check your writing now if you want a higher score in the writing section you need to proofread your work for a few minutes and check for any grammar grammatical spelling or word choice error one important thing to remember here is that your time is limited and in the last three to five minutes of your writing you shouldn't change your ideas because it's going to spoon the whole flow of your writing but just to make small changes tip number nine is to don't worry about your accent because the selfie breakers don't evaluate your accent instead they focus on how you structure your responses and the range of words and phrases you use in your exam tip number 10 is to don't get stuck there is always going to be a word or a sentence you don't understand and the key here is to don't worry instead focus on the general meaning and the parts of the passage that you do understand tip number 11 is to use templates in the writing section now the writing takes 55 minutes and it has two tasks the first task is writing an email and you're going to have 27 minutes the second task is responding to a survey question and you're going to have 20 six minutes for writing task one you can use this template dear sir or madam 
my name is Ali. I'm writing this email to express my concern about then explain. Next, you should explain why you're writing this email. If you should write about your dissatisfaction with something, you can start with I'm writing this email to express my dissatisfaction in regards to something and write down your purpose statement. You can always end with thanks for your consideration and I look forward to hearing from you sincerely and write down your name. Now for writing task 2 you can use this template. Personally I think option A would be a better choice even though option B has its own advantages. Option A would offer more practical benefits to the people or community or to our neighbors. Now the first problem or benefit with this is that and write down about the problem or benefits and use two other sentences in this paragraph. The second problem or benefit with this is that and bring another reason and write two other sentences. Considering these reasons I believe option A would be a better choice. Everyone in the community or building would be overjoyed. Again this is my personal opinion but I will support whatever decision is made. I appreciate the opportunity to provide input on this issue. Tip number 12 is to read all of the answers to the multiple choice questions. A lot of time people rush and select an answer which they think is correct but what happens is that self test creators intentionally put two correct answers but one of them is more correct. So make sure to take your time and read all of the answers of the multiple choice questions before for selecting an answer. Tip number 13 is super necessary for your speaking and it's to use a timer while practicing. For example, if you are practicing the speaking task one, you should set a timer for 30 seconds of preparation time and 60 seconds of speaking time. This way, after a while, you'll get used to the self clip speaking formats and you can manage your speaking properly without finishing early or not being able to finish your speaking in time. Tip number 14 is to don't worry about typing incorrectly. Hopefully, unlike other English exams, you're gonna have access to a spell check in the writing section. So if in your exam you didn't know how to spell a word, just like Google Docs or Microsoft Word, you're going to have the option to click on the word and the computer provides alternative spelling options to you. Tip number 15 and the final tip is to record your own voice when you're practicing speaking. I can't stress this enough guys, when you practice speaking, without recording most of the time you just think you're doing enough or your speaking is well but once you start recording and keep listening to your speaking you realize where your weaknesses and problems are are you talking too fast or too slow are you pronouncing the words correctly are you finishing your speaking in time too early or too late these are some examples or things only you realize when you record yourself so make sure to do that. Now these were some quick tips and tricks that can help you to pass your self live exam but if you want more secrets and details make sure to watch my how to pass self live exam video next. If you found this video helpful please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Now if you have any questions make sure to comment below and I'll try my best to help you out. As always thanks for watching and see you in the next video.